Okay, we can we can uh, we can start off. We can start off by doing a, a little guided meditation uh, for the next half an hour. So we can just turn down the lights and get yourself into a comfortable position. And try to use your brains to warm up your body because it's very cold in here. <laughs> or you can just put on a jumper. <laughs> okay. So we just get ourselves into a comfortable position. And we're just sitting down and being aware of whatever's happening now. And that may be just the quietness of the room. Or you're experiencing your eyes closed, so you're not seeing anything. You can feel the weight of your body on the cushion or in the chair. So these are the experiences that you may be having now. Just also listening to a voice. Meditation is just the experience of the here and now. We're not searching for anything. We're not pushing our minds to achieve stillness or peace. We're just sitting here, just being aware And that's enough. Just being aware. And you'll notice a little bit of silence. Just being aware. Being here in the moment. You will notice a little bit of peace. In a sense, meditation is an easy thing to do. So when you're meditating, you probably notice 
that your mind likes to move around a bit. It moves into the future, it moves into the past. And that's just perfectly normal. That's how the mind works. The mind, without any direction, will do that kind of thing. So, as meditators, we try to um, bring back our minds, bring them back to the present moment. Bring them back to this moment, be aware of what this moment is like in terms of um, the experience of the present moment. You notice that the present moment is void of thoughts about the future or thoughts about the past. You're starting to understand and know what it is, what it is like to be in this present moment. So once you understand what it's like, you can always bring your minds back into this moment. Developing the present moment. And that's, that's like, you know, it's like the essence of this mind of ours when we're meditating. It wanders off and we just bring it back home. And just a, an attitude that we can develop is this attitude of having patience and just lowering your expectations. Because we need it from time to time. As you can see within your own minds, it could be a mind which is like a monkey jumping from branch to branch, not sitting, <coughs> not sitting still, being restless, throwing bananas at people walking by, being a naughty being a naughty monkey. <laughs> yeah. we, call it, we call it the monkey mind. And sometimes when we're meditating and that's all we can see is our um, monkey mind, we can start judging negatively towards what is happening within our own minds. We start to say to ourselves, 
Ah, I can't meditate. Ah, my mind's all over the place. Ah, I just want to give up. Uh, those are the thoughts that may be going through your mind when you meditate. So one of the attitudes that we can that we can bring into our meditation is the attitude of patience the attitude of not judging and just being able to wait just to be able to wait for the the mind to sort itself out just being able to wait for the for the, the, the teachings that you've learnt to, to do its work and through waiting and eventually the peace and the stillness will start to arise and start to um, just stay in your mind. So, just remember, when you're going through a hard time in your meditation practice, is to just be non-judgmental and to be patient. So now, I'm just going to keep quiet until the end of the meditation.
I will now bring the gong and you can slowly come out of the meditation. A few more people walked in when we had our eyes closed. Maybe a few more people walk out when I start opening my mouth. <laughs>